This is Wade Harvey at uh, IdealProgrammer.com. I want to go over the steps involved in hosting a website with a SQL database on Discount ASP. The steps are very simple in themselves, but they take some time because you're dealing with different vendors, and uh, the uh, vendors take a day or two to set up what you want. Uh, the first step is to have the prerequisite software which is SQL Server. This can be uh, uh, 2005 or 2008 and it can be the Express Editions which are free and it, uh, you will also need a Visual Web Developer that can be 2005, 2008. Uh, if you don't know how to install those uh, you can find out on idealprogrammer.com on the home page. It has a short video on installing them. Step two is to get a domain name. This is your URL from GoDaddy for eight dollars. This is your www.yourdomainname.com, uh, and you want to have it with your keywords in your domain name. Step three is to get a hosting account with Discount ASP for ten dollars a month. And when you're getting that hosting account, you need to select the SQL Server uh, add-on, which is another $10 a month. Step 5, we'll go to GoDaddy and the Domain Manager and update the name servers uh, to point. So you have a, your URL, www, whatever, and you need that to point to the hosting account that you created on Discount ASP. So that's what the name servers do. They point that URL, the www, to the hosting account. Step six, you'll use uh, SQL Server Management Studio to create the databases or database and tables that you need. And with uh, Discount ASP, this is a big advantage with them. You can remotely connect to their server where you're uh, you're going to create your database, and uh, with the other hosting providers, you are not able to cre directly cre connect to their servers. You have to use scripts and so forth. So that's a great advantage of Discount ASP and there are many others that they're highly geared to dealing with uh, ASP.NET language. Step 7, you'll use uh, Visual Web Developer to create your application. And When you're creating your application, you'll uh, point the SQL data source to the database that you created on discount ASP.NET. That's how it gets connected. And then step 8, you know, use Visual Web Developer. You can use uh, the website copy website option to cop just to copy your website from your local computer over to discountasp.net, or you can use FTP if you desire. And then after you copied your website over there, there's one final step, and that is uh, you need to rename or delete the index HTML page. Uh, on discount ASP dot net's uh, hosting environment or else when you try to go to your URL you'll just get there uh, that temporary page that they put up for you. So those are the steps. We're going to go through them one at a time. Uh, okay, We already talked about step one of the prerequisite software of SQL Server and Visual Web Developer. So let's move on to step two. Get a domain name from GoDaddy for eight dollars a year. Okay, here we are on idealprogrammer.com website. You can click on this link for domain names, or there's another link over here uh, to go to domain names. We'll click for now. That'll take us to GoDaddy's uh, website. Then you go under Domains, Register Domains. 
and then you want to enter a domain name. This allows you to search if that domain, this will be your www, whatever, uh, if that already exists. And you want your domain name to have uh, the keywords that people will be searching for, so it'll make it easier for people to find your uh, web website. So we're entering Visual Basic Net. Uh, and then we do a search to see if that already exists. If it does, it'll come back and tell you. If it doesn't, then it says it's available. So then we just proceed to out. They offer you a lot of other things to buy, but you basically want to check out. Step three is get a hosting account with Discount ASP for $10 a month. Okay, to get the hosting account, you go to idealprogrammer.com. You can click on net hosting, or here's a uh, banner that you can click on for discount ASP. That takes you to discount ASP's uh, website. And here you have a uh, sign up uh, for three months uh, at starting at $10 per month. So you click on that and sign up now. This gives you your basic uh, hosting plan. You just continue. Uh, you enter your domain name, which uh, I have one out there that I'm going to be demonstrating with. It's my QOL for my quality of life. Dot com and since this is already hosted uh, they're not going to let me reuse that but I'll say use my existing oh, sorry I'm going to have to add an X on this just to proceed is my existing domain and then I'll take you on it tells me it's not registered but then it will allow me to uh, continue with sign up anyway and then it just uh, allows you to select your platform uh, if you want uh, 2003 or 2008 uh, and then you just enter this information and that gives you the basic hosting count. Step four is use discount uh, in discount ASP. We want to uh, add the uh, SQL Server add-on for another ten dollars a month. So I'll show you how to do that. Okay, once uh, discount ASP creates your account, they'll send you an email with your uh, username and password. And you can uh, log on here on the main screen. I'll do that now. You've logged in now. And on the page when you log in, you'll see this option, Order Add-ons. So you click on that. Then you can uh, add on uh, 2008. Uh, for this example, I'm just adding on a 2005 uh, SQL uh, s server database. It's active. I've already done it. But that, if you wanted to see the pricing, it'd be ten dollars a month. So once you add it on, uh, you can go to your database uh, server, they'll send you an email saying where where it is, what the name of your server is. So you click on database management uh, SQL Server 2005 in my case.